This is my Godzilla Kong The New Empire spoiler review. So this will contain heavy spoilers. So if you've not seen the movie, click off because this will spoil the whole movie for you. So let's get straight into it because I noticed that my last video was quite long and I don't want it to be that long. So let me just get into it straight away. Okay, so one of my complaints of the movie, and this contains spoilers like I said, is that Tiamat and Scylla pretty much just got destroyed in two seconds, which obviously they're going up against Godzilla, who's the king of the monsters. Makes sense, but it just feels a bit like like they weren't. I don't know. It's just like I don't know how to put it into words, but it's just like it just leaves a bit of a sour taste in my mouth seeing Tiamat literally, which I thought Tiamat was supposed to be one of the strongest titans, or at least one of them. And she or he, I actually don't know if it's a she or he, but Tiamat just got destroyed. Scylla also got destroyed. Both of them got obliterated, really. And, yeah, coming from when, I know obviously Godzilla in 2014 against the Mutos, he was a lot, it was a bit smaller and a lot more weaker, but, yeah, I don't know, it just feels a bit off, but, yeah, let's move on. Uh, Scar King, I do have one complaint about Scar King, and it's just one, like, in my opinion, Scar King actually was great in the movie, but, um, I just feel like when he got to the surface, that was it, the final battle, in my opinion, should have been a bit longer. The final, it should have been should have been a little bit more fleshed out in my opinion, because like the final battle was just, well, it happened and then Scar King was dead, you know. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, his death was cool. It's actually really quite creative. He got frozen by Shima, and then Kong picked him up and smashed, like picked up Scar King's body, wrapped, slammed it into the ground, and then like repetitively punched him and like mauled him and like yeah, just. Pretty gruesome death to be fair. Not a nice time to be skarking at that moment. But yeah. I mean he deserved it. He got the karma for what he did. But yeah. I just feel like skarking. He was threatening. Don't get me wrong. But. You know. I was kind of hoping that in. When he got to the surface. He would have done a lot more damage. I mean. I, I gr Granted. You know. Godzilla and Kong. Kind of followed them through the. The vertex. Like the portal to. The surface. But. Yeah. I don't know. I just felt like. With Ghidorah, right, it just felt a bit more grounded in terms of actual destruction that Ghidorah is doing, especially on the surface. And Ghidorah literally, you know, I think even after Ghidorah's death, created a lot of damage on the sur on the surface with, with his storm. So I just kind of wish Scar King had some sort of, I don't know how they would have done it, but just some sort of thing that would have made him a bit more threatening on the surface. But yeah, that's just one thing I had a problem with Scar King. But other than that, I think his introduction was great. His scenes were good. Um... And he, to be fair, Scar King, what made me like Scar King quite a lot is that uh, he laughed, like, at least 14, 15 sort of times. Like, he laughed a lot in the movie. And even if it's just a little chuckle or a little grin, he was messed up in the head. You know, he, he humiliated Kong in front of all of the other Kongs, which I actually felt real bad for Kong because met, cause Kong had his metal tooth. And, yeah, just, like, Scar King really was just, like, a bully really and you know one of my favorite scenes of Scar King was when he was still in his like empire and there was one other Kong who kind of like I can't remember now because I have to rewatch the movie to really soak it into my mind but like I think there was another Kong who uh was struggling to lift up something like he just being basically just beaten and hammered to death like worn out because Scar King just abusing all these other Kongs and this specific Kong I'm just going to refer to him as Kong or an ape then this specific ape uh struggled to lift this like um I don't know what it was like a rock or something like he struggled to lift it up and literally Scar King just kicked him into lava killed him I thought that was I felt so bad for the apes like, like if basically if you do one mistake you just get you, your penalty is death pretty much he just kicked him into the lava i thought that was a great scene emotional scene for kong and suko as well and also a very cool scene for scar king so yeah i thought that that was actually what really like that but like really i just i don't know it maybe you want to punch scar king which which is good that's what you want for a villain like scar king is a very hateable villain in a good way um which is what I really like, but loads of positives for Scar King. I mean, there's only like one or two negatives for Scar King, but so yeah. Um, the apes, like I said, were good. Like in my last review, or like the spoiler-free review, I said that um, they a lot of them looked rough and weak-looking. Some were strong. Some some were like 
obviously favoured by Skarking, some weren't, some literally got killed by Skarking, like I just said, so yeah, really like that. We go on to Shimo now. Shimo, I genuinely loved Shimo's design. Shimo's design is great. Had a great like um, build up on like introduction scene as well with the the boulder um, stopping the lava flow or the la the lava waterfall sort of thing. I don't know what you want to call it. So I think that was cool. Shimo had some cool scenes. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, I just felt like Shimo could have had some more cooler scenes. I I, I mean, obviously Shimo was under Skarking's control with that whip, so. You know, but I just felt like it could have been cool to see Skarking like really, really, really like take full advantage of Shimo's power because I just think it would have been really cool to see Shimo's full power, full capabilities. But luckily that Shimo isn't dead, so we could see Shimo in the next Monstrous movie if this Monstrous movie makes a lot of money. So yeah, that was Shimo. Suko, um, I like Suko a lot. I don't think I don't think I had any complaints with Suko. He was actually really well done. So I definitely love to see Suko again. Doug was in it. That was great to see Doug. Um, yeah, Doug. Doug uh, had like I think I think it was just one scene, but it was still cool to see him. Um, see them. He was actually next to Kong, so that was cool. Um, Godzilla versus Kong that they fought obviously again in this movie, and um, yeah, honestly, Kong Kong kind of sorted out Godzilla this time. You know, he uh, I think he threw a bit of sand in Godzilla's eyes, and then. Uppercutted him and Godzilla fell down and then he then he just kept rep I, if I remember correctly He just kept repetitively punching Godzilla in the face, which I actually feel bad for Godzilla obviously Kong was trying to warn Godzilla that there was a threat underneath and Godzilla was I guess too stubborn or just just didn't want to listen or You know, you know how Godzilla Godzilla is, but yeah, I just thought that scene was pretty good and M Mothra Mothra was actually real cool in this movie. I think Mothra's Return was great. Um, just overall, really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm really trying to rush this because I don't want to make this video so long, but I just, I can't. I'm trying to fit everything in. Characters were good, in my opinion. I, a few. One of my other complaints of the movie is there was quite a few convenient scenes, which I thought was a bit didn't quite work, especially with the beast glove, where Kong got the frostbite from Shimo. He needed his gauntlet. And it just felt way too convenient that there was just so happened to be one in Hollow Earth at the outpost. So I just thought that was a bit um, convenient, but still cool. I do think that Trapper had a few goofy scenes. Trapper was good, don't get me wrong. He was probably the most funniest character in the whole, um, you know, movie. When he was flying that, like, airship lifting the gauntlet, it just felt a bit goofy. And also, another scene that I was not very fond of is when Skarking was riding Shimo. Um... And then, like, Trapper came with, like, some Hellhawks, I think it was, with electricity going around. I just, I, I, I wasn't really a fan of that bit, but, yeah, it was, it was fun, I guess. But, yeah, um, Mecha Godzilla got loads of mentions, which was cool. I'm happy Mecha Godzilla got mentions. That was actually something I was looking forward to, which is weird, I know. King Ghidorah, I think, got one or two mentions. So, yeah, overall, pretty good. Godzilla, I wish Godzilla got more scenes overall. Uh, it just feel like Godzilla... You know, it obviously it was a more of a Kong movie, but and Godzilla was you know kind of sprinkled in the movie, I guess you could say, or you know, a bit of Godzilla there, a bit of Godzilla there, but you know, I do wish Godzilla got a few more scenes, but yeah, I honestly enjoyed this movie thoroughly. I really enjoyed this movie. It was such a blast to watch, especially on the big screen. It was just awesome. I the, the story was pretty good, to be fair. Um, yeah, I, I think I've covered everything. I'm trying to think of the off top, on the top of my head. Uh, Suko, we talked about him. Doug, Godzilla, Kong, Skarking, Shimo, the other apes. Mothra was cool. Mothra had to really, you know, Mothra. It, they had a fight in the Hollow Earth with the low gravity. Mothra, I think, saved. Yeah, saved Godzilla. Shimo was about to freeze Godzilla, and Mothra came down and uh, used her like her web sort of thing, like she did on Ghidorah. Um, on the other apes and like helped Godzilla f break from the ice and yeah I thought that was really cool and it was good to see that Godzilla saw Mothra again so yeah really good really good I'm gonna end this video now because I'm just I could just keep talking and talking forever and I don't want to do that so yeah and unfortunately I've made this video way longer than the previous one but that's just how it is so yeah I will see you guys in another video and if you're going to watch this movie or if you, well I'm assuming 
the people who are watching this video have already seen the movie because I don't want to spoil anyone. So let me know what you thought of the movie. I thought it was pretty good. I'd give it 8 or 9 out of 10, something like that. I still don't know whether I prefer it over GVK or not because GVK is one of my favourites in the Monsterverse. I just really find GVK enjoyable. Um, but I like all the Monsterverse movies. I don't hate anything in the Monsterverse, really. Although I wasn't the biggest fan of the Netflix TV show, but it was alright. But yeah, I'm going to end this video. See you guys um, when whatever. But hope you have a great evening or morning or whatever part of the day it is for you. And yeah.